Hello, you are welcome to Chemistry Hangout. I want to joyfully say compliment of the season to all my subscribers. If you're just watching this YouTube channel for the very first time, to so say compliment of the season to you. It has been a very good year, and we hope that in the coming year, God will still grant us more grace and strength to do many more on this channel. So, I'm um, happily saying compliment of the season to us from anywhere we are watching from. This is Chemistry Hangout. To all the Chemistry Hangout family, I want to say thank you so much for the support this year. We have received support massively this year. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for the show of love. Thanks for your, your, your kindness. We do really appreciate it. If you are just watching this YouTube channel for the very first time, this is one of the best chemistry channels on YouTube that will bring to you chemistry in a simplified way. So you are in the right place. Click the subscribe button and turn off, turn on the notification bell so that when I drop any video, you are going to be notified. Again, I want to say thank you so much and compliments of the season. Very, very important. I have passed a very important information to Jambite. I'm going to drop the link in the comment box section. Check there. If you are writing Jam, a massive tutorial is ongoing already. We have started. So if you have not joined, you are writing Jam for science students only. Science students only, you are writing Jam. Check the comment section. I'll, I'll drop a link there where you can join the WhatsApp group for the Jam class. So quickly do that. If you are writing Jam, quickly click. Just check the, the comment box section. You are going to see the link there. Click it. Then you are going to find yourself in the WhatsApp group so that you can partake in that class. Very important. You are writing wire, you are writing jam, you are writing neko nese, you are writing any form of exam, even undergraduate, you have to pay maximum attention to this channel. I'm just going to be doing one of the things I'll be doing next year, especially for jam bites and wire student, neko student. Because if you are doing jam, you have to understand time management. Yes, I have said that in one of my videos, I'm going to drop that video too. How to get 300 plus in jam? I'll drop that video. So just check the comment box section to see the link of all these things I've said. You have to understand time management, very important. And you know, sometimes you don't know the shortcut to actually answer some questions for students. So on this channel, I am going to be dropping a whole lot of tricks. Yes, that will make you to be able to answer questions in less than two minutes. If you are the smart one, you are going to answer it in less than a minute. Because for science students, you should understand that you are doing 180 questions. You are doing 180 questions. You should know that. You are doing 60 for English, 40, 40, 40 for your three other subjects. That's 120. Plus 60, that's 180. And you are having two hours. Two hours is 120 minutes. Which means by calculation, you have less than a minute to solve each question. That, that's, the, that's the implication. So on this channel, I am going to be dropping some tricks that will make you to solve some questions in... in less than a minute i just going to solve the question so that it will you know you have enough time to actually tackle so watch this video to the end i'm going to explain you know that very particular concept then at the end of the video i'll now give you three to solve it in a minute so let me start with this now in in wahek or jam in wahek or jam i'll 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 say it is chemistry trick yeah let me call it like that. So I'll be, I'll be giving a whole lot of chemistry treat. So please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that when I drop all this, you are going to be notified. I call them chemistry treat and you see how they work. For, for questions on bonding, you know, for questions on bonding, for questions on, on hybridization and the rest, I'm going to take them gently. For questions on bonding, we might be asked, how many lone pair, how many bond pair do you have in a particular molecule or in a particular compound? Jump by ask you, right? My ask you, how many lone pair do you have? How many bond pair do you have? What, what, what do I mean by lone pair? What do I mean by bond pair? I have done chemical bonding on this channel. I will drop those links in the comment section. Just be checking the comment section so that you will see all the link of this. I have done, I have explained chemical bonding on this channel the five types of bond i've explained that and that's where i want to pick the trick from so if you have not watched that go and watch it first then you can now understand the trick so let's take for example i have compounds like boron trifluoride i have compound like nh3 i have compound like ch4 i'm using this as case study now 
and I have compound four, I have compound recorder. Imagine Jav asking you, how many low pair do you have here, or how many bond pair do you have here? How many low pair do you have here, or how many bond pair? If you are not very careful, you will need to be drawing diagram. If you are not very careful, you need to draw the diagram. How will you go about it? Let me start from the first one. For boron, we know that our boron has atomic number five. Okay? You know, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. That's atomic number five. So, and the electronic configuration will be two, three. Do you get that now? So, from here, we can draw two and we can draw three. Okay? We can draw three. Can you see? So, and you need, you have three fluorine is coming to bond with it. Three fluorines. And if you remember, fluorine is two, seven. Fluorine two is not complete. Fluorine is two, seven. Can you see? Fluorine two is not complete. So, we have two, okay? Then we now have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Can you see that now? We have two, then we have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This covalent bonding. I've done all this bonding. Check the comment section. So this one, two, let me bring this here. F two, seven. So this one, two will be two. And we have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see? It has completed what we call octet structure now. I have done this. I even explained the octet rule in my video. So you need to be checking those videos because those videos are progressing. I have told you, they don't just come to this channel and watch any video. You might not understand. That's why I used to do the video, you know. I do those video one after the other, one after the other, so that you get it. Now, if you look at this now, they cannot ask you. All these ones are balanced now. This structure is balanced now. They now ask you, how many lone pair do you have? How many bond pair do you have? What do you mean by bond pair? You know you have one electron here before. So, fluorine came and gave one again. You have one here, fluorine came and gave one, and they are now sharing. So, bond pair means this one is bonded. Can you see? Because fluorine came and gave this one one. So, this is a bond pair. This is a bond pair. This is a bond pair. I don't, I don't know if I get it. If I have one here, let's say for example, I have one here that anybody, you know, if I have these two electrons now and nobody is coming to pair with this, this will be lone pair. Meaning they are lonely. From the word lone means lonely. Okay, do you see that? But we don't have such. We don't have this here. So it means this is a bond pair because fluorine is coming to bond with this. Fluorine is coming to bond with this. Fluorine is coming to bond. So from, from this one, we can say our, our bond pair. How many bond pairs do we have here? We can say three. How many lone pairs do we have here? We can say zero. Do you get that? I want to believe this is clear. Now, look at how many electrons. How many electrons makes up a bond pair? Two. Bond pair, bond pair. They are bonded. So for two electrons, two electrons we make one bond pair, one bond pair, one bond pair. When they are bond, it has to be two or more. I want to believe this is clear. So for bond pair, it is three. For lone pair, it is two. For this, let's check this. For ammonia, for ammonia, your your nitrogen. If you remember, your nitrogen, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. That's seven. You should know that already. So this is seven. Electronic configuration will be two five, and we have hydrogen. Electronic configuration will be one. So what do we do? Let's draw, and we have three. Hydrogen, so we have hydrogen again. We have hydrogen again. Also, do this clear because we have three hydrogens here. So let's draw this now. We have two, okay, for nitrogen. Then we have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you see? These things are not complete. They are, they are not completed. They are duplex structure. So hydrogen will come and give one. Hydrogen will come, give one. Hydrogen will come. You should be able to answer this question now. How many bond pair do we have here? If you check this, this bond, this bonded, this bonded, this bonded. So we have three bond pair. How many lone pair? Do we have lone pair there? Yes, because this one, they are not touching it, it's just there. So this one is one. I want to believe this is clear. Now let's see for this carbon is atomic number six, that will be two, four. Then hydrogen, we have four of that. We have four. Good. Let's see. So we have two, then we have four. One, two, Three, four. So one hydrogen will come and bond, another one will come and bond, another one will come and bond, another one will come and bond. You see that now? So how many bond pair do we have here? How many bond pair? We have four because all these are bonded. Can you see? How many lone pair do we have? 
is what? Zero. Because everything above. I want to believe you are getting this tree. Okay, so let me go for water now. For water, let's see. Oxygen that will be two six. We have hydrogen to be one, another hydrogen to be one. So that's the structure. So we have two, then we have six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one hydrogen will come and bond, another hydrogen will come and bond. Can you see that now? So how many bond pair do we have? We have two, right? How many lone pair do we have? You have two. I want to believe this is clear. And if you check all these things, you will see they must complete their duplex or test structure. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the aim of them coming today. All these things I've done, they are covalent bond. They have done that. I'll drop the video in the comment box section. Now imagine John or Wyatt asking you, how many bond pair do you have in bottom trifluoride? How many bond pair do you have in ammonia? How many bond pair do you have in methane? How many bond pair or long pair do you have in water? Imagine you throwing all this in jam. Wait, do you have that time? Do you have that luxury of time to do this? No. So let's look at the trick. How do I get this? Let's look at the trick now. So that's where I'm not coming from. Let's come to this. BF3. I want to get the lone pair and the bond pair faster. I want to get it. The first thing I will do is, what is the group number of boron? And I can get that from this I have done. You know, boron is 2, 3. Okay, so the valence electron is going to be three. That means the group number will be three from periodic table experience. Once we believe this is clear. So it will be three. Okay, minus fluorine. What is the valency? You know, I've done all this thing. If you go and check name in organic compound, I explain valency as a topic. So fluorine is what? It's two, seven. That means we need one. So when it collects one, it becomes minus one. So it will now be minus one. That's it needs one, so it will be one times how many of it? Three of it. I want to believe this is clear. I got boron from the group number three minus how many electron fluorine used to collect one? This is the one times how many of the fluorine three? So it becomes three minus three becomes zero. Meaning the lone pair here for this is zero. Why the bond pair is the number of fluorine that you have here, which is three. Let's go back to this. The, the bond pair is how many? Three. The lone pair is how many? This is zero. Are you surprised? That's why I said if you are doing work, if you are doing jam, you are doing echo, please, I'm going to be dropping this trick. I'm going to be dropping this trick. It will make you answer questions in less than a minute. So let's try it for another one. Jam said, how many bond pair? Sorry, N3. How many bond pair and lone pair? They can ask you that lone pair or bond pair anymore. So, how many bond pair do we have here? Want to calculate it? Jam bytes, right, student? I was okay. What is the group number of nitrogen? The group number of nitrogen will be 5 because the electronic configuration is 2 5. So, the group number is 5 minus hydrogen used to collect 1. Abby? So, that will be 1 times 3. So, that will give us 5 minus 3. That will give us 2. Can you see that now? So the lone pair. Look at this now. Look at this. The lone pair. Look at this. So you know five minus three is two. How many electron used to give lone pair? You know I have two electron as one lone pair. So the meaning of this is that you have two electron. So two electron will give how many lone pair? One now because for every lone pair you have two 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 electron. How to leave this step? You have two two electron. So for two electron, it will make one lone pair or one bond pair. Do you understand? But this one is for calculating lone pair. So these two electron means how many lone pair are we going to have? We're going to have just one lone pair. Because two electron will give us one lone pair. But how many bond pair do we have? How many bond pair? Look at the the element attached to nitrogen. How many do you have here? Three. Can you see that? So let's check. Bond pair is how many? Three. Long pair is how many? One. Are we okay? Are we, are we? That's why I said, please be glued to this channel if you're writing jam. I'm going to be dropping these tricks to help you guys to be able to scale through jam. Let's go for this. Number three. CH4. Okay, look at that. Carbon is two, four. Abby? So it's going to be four minus hydrogen. That will be what? 1 times 4. Okay? That will be 4 minus 4. That will be what? 0. Meaning, look here. 
is a zero. Bond pair with the amine will be what will be four, which is the number of atoms attached to this. So let's check this one. Bond pair, can you see that? Four low pair, can you see that? Zero. Can you see? So in few minutes, students will ask, okay, let me do this. Because you learn like answer, are you is, you can try these things for other molecules. You can try for other ones, they are still the same. You can try for other ones, they are the same. So let's see for H2O. For H2O, how many oxygen? That will be six, two six, because oxygen is atomic number eight. So that will be two six. Can you see that now? So which means for the last one for H2O, we are going to have six minus. Can you see that six minus hydrogen? That will be one times two. So that will be six minus two. That will be what? Four. Can you see? If it is four electrons, it means that how many lone pairs do you have? Two. Because one lone pair, we have two electrons. Another lone pair, we have what? Two electrons. I want to believe this is clear. So for four, four electrons means you are going to have two lone pairs. So for lone pair, here is going to be what? Two. Can you see that? For bond pair, for bond pair, it's going to be how many? It's going to be the number attached to this, which is two. Let's see. Are we correct? Let's see. Our bond pair, can you see that? It's two. Can you see our low pair? It's Please, so don't get it wrong. Yeah, when you get here and say, how many low pair? You don't say four. No, you'll be wrong. This four means the number of electrons. This two means the number of electrons. So the number of electrons that makes a pair is two. The number of electrons, so if two electrons make one pair, four electrons will make two pairs. And that's how you can get it. Can you see that? That's how you can get it. So you can try this and put your answer in the comment box section. Using this, you will calculate this like this and put it in the comment box section for me. So how many long pair and bond pair do you have in SO2? How many long pair and bond pair do you have in SO2? How many long pair and bond pair do you have here? And the last one, how many long pair? And bond pair you have in CO2. So try this yourself and put the answer in the comment box section. How many long pair and bond pair do you have here? Using this, calculate it for me. Let me see if you understand. How many long pair do you have in this? Long pair and bond pair, long pair and bond pair, long pair and bond pair, and that is that. Okay, can you see? So please, if you are writing an exam next year, if you are writing any form of exam next year, stay glued to this channel. I'm going to be dropping a lot of trick. I call it chemistry trick. And that's why I said chemistry is very, very interesting. So if you are watching this very particular channel for the first time, you can see this is a channel you should be. You should be one of the chemistry anger family. It's going to be fun next year. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to be dropping a lot of tricks. You know, dropping a lot of tricks back to back for jam bags, my ex them, so that in few minutes, you can see in few minutes, you can quickly answer this and go to the next one. In few minutes, instead of you wasting your time and drawing all this, in few minutes, apply this and you are there. So, thank you so very, very much. You are just watching this YouTube channel for the very time, first time. Click subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that when I release another video, you are going to be notified. Don't forget, I want to see the answer to this in the comment box section. Jump right. You see a link in the comment box section. Join it. And for teachers who have been chatting me for the package of how to prepare laboratory reagent, my number is there. You can always chat me and we can talk about it. Thank you so very much. Compliment of the season. Wish you a prosperous new year. Thank you. Bye bye.